Good afternoon. So I wanted to do a video because I had written up a post, but I wanted to share it like with you personally because it was so much to write up. And it's not going to be a long video because I can say it probably quicker than I can write it. But I just want to say I had met with a friend of mine, um, Liza. And for those that know Liza, know she's amazing. She is a money management specialist. And we were just kind of going over some budget stuff and she was helping me in some areas um, that I obviously need help in. Um, but one of the things that really hit me with what she had said was, it was about our goals. And it's funny because in health and fitness, we talk about goals all the time. And we say, you know, write down your why and and that why needs to be super important. And so I hear these things all the time, but it's funny how I related it to my health and fitness, but I don't relate it in sometimes in other areas of my life that it probably needs it. Um, for example, my budget. So she, one of the things she had said was your goal needs to be, you know, it needs to be important, or at least you should feel like it's important and it should have value. So when you, and it has to be strong enough to help you when you are faced with something that um, you have to think about. For example, if um, with the budget on things that you spend money on, you have to think to yourself when you go to buy it, is it really something you need and is it helping you towards your goal? So if your goal is to pay off debt, do you necessarily need another pair of sneakers? Or do you need to go out to eat with friends um, for a third time this week? Does it help you with your goal? Where does that align? What, what kind of value are you putting on your goal if you are um, spending money in, in one avenue and saying that you want to pay off debt in the other. So, um, that was where she was helping me, but I was thinking it's so true even with our health and fitness. For example, if your goal is to really live a healthy lifestyle, and I'm not saying just lose 10, 15, 20 pounds, because honestly, it's not about the pounds you lose. It's about what you gain when you lose that weight. It's not about the number on the scale. It's about how you'll feel as you, you know, lose that excess weight on your body. So my question, my theory on this, this video sharing this with you is because when you think about your health and fitness and your goal, how important is it to you? Like, it needs to have so much importance to you that when you are faced with another invite to go out and have dinner or to have a few drinks or um, to, you know, you're at home and you choose to go for the snacks, the ice cream, whatever the case may be, or even the second serving of dinner. It doesn't have to necessarily be a sugary treat. It could be, um, you know, a second serving at dinner or, it, you know, just anything like that, for example, skipping a workout, which, um, you know, can have its own effects as well. So you have to ask yourself, when you go to make those decisions, when you get that invite from a friend or you're going to get that second helping or you're going for that third or fourth drink, ask yourself, is it aligning with your goals? Is it going to help you get to where you really want to be? Or will you allow your, and, and not to sound mean here, but will you allow yourself, will you allow you to self-sabotage yourself again? So in tomorrow when you get up, you feel guilty, or even after you've consumed the second serving or the food or whatever the case may be, you feel guilty. I don't want anybody to feel guilty about, about the choices that they make. However, how many of us have? You know, I mean, the other day I battled it with making energy bars. I was popping um, dried apricot like it was Tic Tacs. And if you've ever looked at the sugar in dried apricots, it doesn't take much before you are up well over 100 grams of sugar. Now, that is a lot of sugar in one consumption. Um, however, I, you know, I was doing, I stopped it and I, I started to allow myself to feel guilty for doing it. Um, and then I was like, okay, get over yourself. It was dried fruit. You did it. It's done. It's over. Move on. However, it did help me to, um, really think about, you know, when I do things like that, does it help me reach the goal that I want to go for? I have a goal. I want, there's a certain body fat percentage that I want to be at. It's nothing extreme, 
but it's something that I want. It is a goal for my health and fitness. I want to feel completely comfortable in my own skin. I want to be able to do the workouts that I want to do. Um, and getting to that certain area for me is um, important. So that is something I just wanted to share that with you guys because I thought about it with, you know, she brought it up for budget reasons. Um, I think about it in health and fitness aspects. The choices that we make, are they truly helping us to work towards the goal that we have? And how important is our goal to us? How much value are we putting on our goal? Are we letting self-sabotage take over and then the guilt rides us for the next day, two, or week, or whatever the case may be. So ask yourself, the next time you make a decision, ask yourself if it's, you know, whether it is with your finances or your food or your faith or whatever it is, ask if it's lining up with the goals that you have set in mind. I hope this helps you today. God bless. Have a wonderful afternoon.